Hi guys, this is my uh, third part in my series of how to make a Roblox plane. In the last one, we uh, talked about how to weld the plane together. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you give the player the controller script that will be, then be used to control the plane. Uh, due to limited time, I already wrote the code for it, and instead I'm just going to go through and explain how, it's, how it works and everything. And I will also put in the link below, or in the description below, uh, link to the source code that we used here. Uh, so the only new thing here uh, is right here. So inside your plane model you have this handling script that I added. Um, so to start off it's easiest just to create what's needed first before getting to the code. So I'm just going to go through that first. So we have the handling script which will be used to give the player the controller. Inside this we have the controller local script uh, and that's used to actually control the plane. So the handling script basically is going to listen for a new pilot to be in the seat and then give them the controller. Then it'll listen for the pilot to get out and get rid of the controller. The controller is not aware of this. It simply does what it needs to do and control the plane. Uh, inside the controller script we have a few flag things here. So we have a, a plane object value and this will be used for the controller so it knows what plane it needs to control. It also has a request removal bool value object. Uh, this acts as a flag and the handling script here actually will flag this value true and when that happens the controller script will realize that and remove itself. So that's why it's called request removal. So that's the only new things here and now I'm going to get into the scripts and actually discuss what the code does. So inside the handling script, uh, right off the bat, we define the seat and get a copy of the controller script inside itself right here. Uh, we have two main functions here. We have the child added function and the child removed, uh, which are named conveniently with the events they're associated with at the bottom here. So seat, when the child added event is fired, it connects, it fires their uh, child added function. Same with the child removed. Uh, a nice thing about seats is that when a player sits in it, uh, the player is actually welded to the seat. And this weld is named a seat weld. So that's why I'm checking if the child is named a seat weld and if it's a weld. And also the part one property of a weld for a seat weld is actually the torso of the player. Therefore, we can actually get the player's character by finding the parent of the torso. And if we can get the character, we can actually get the player through the get player from character method in the player service. So that's what this line is doing. It's just getting the player from the seat wallet itself. And if it successfully does that, so if it's not nil, then it, it copies the uh, controller script puts it in the player's backpack, assigns the plane object value here, and then disables, or sorry, enables the script to work. So it's pretty straightforward. Player sits in seat, get the player, give the player the controller script. Same thing with the child remove script, or the child remove function, it's pretty straightforward. It does the same thing as it looks for the seat weld, it tries to get the player, uh, and then the only difference is that we kind of reverse engineer how this works where instead we look for the script itself in the child's backpack or the player's backpack and if it finds a controller script then it flags the request removal value as true so that's all this does so we have the child added child removed looks for a seat gives the player the backpack or sorry it gives the player the controller script and when they get out of the plane it tries to remove the script by flagging it to remove itself. So that's all the handling script does here. And in the controller script, uh, this will be the main controller for the plane. Right now I just have a pretty simple framework laid out so far. Uh, main parts of this, uh, we have the plane value, plane variable here assigned to your plane object value that we assigned in the handling script. And then we have the request removal object also assigned a variable here. Uh, so going all the way down to the bottom of the script, um, this line is just precautionary uh, to see if it was already true when it was added because there was a slight delay between 
when the script is added and when it actually starts up. So this is just precautionary to see if it's value. And if so, stop the plan immediately. Um, otherwise, it will listen uh, for the request removal value to change. And once it is changed to true, it's flagged as true, it will trigger this on request removal function, which is up here. And your on request removal function will then uh, request the plan to shut down, so that'll do any operations your plan needs to do to simulate a shutdown, uh, whether it's stopping propeller from spinning or whatever, uh, and then it'll destroy itself. The script will just completely destroy itself. And that's all it does so far. We also, uh, in our controller, I set up the on startup function, which simply is called right away. So this will handle anything that the plane needs to do to set up. Uh, whether it's creating body velocity objects and stuff, or doing weird little calculations, finding the mass, whatever, um, whatever needs to be done. So the second step of this is to test it out to make sure it works. Uh, we can make sure it does by cl looking closely at the player's backpack right here. Um, also the output, it should say start up when I get in the seat, and when I get out it should say shut down. So the test is, I'm going to go in the seat, and it says startup, which is good, and the controller script is in my backpack, and the plan value is assigned and everything, that's good. Uh, and when I jump out of this seat, the request removal value should go true, and the script should see that and remove itself. So I'm just going to press spacebar to jump out, and that script should disappear. And it did. And we see the shutdown printed down there. And do it a few times just to test it. You really want to kind of abuse your system as much as possible to make sure it works under basically any circumstance. And it seems to work fine. So again, all the source code it will be linked in the description below. And the source code will also come with instructions of where to put it. And if you don't know where, just looking at it again. Oh, I hate when it does that. Uh, we see that the only new things we added were the handling script here and the controller script here local script and the two objects inside the local script. The plane is an object value, request removal is a bool value object. And that's it for this tutorial.